गुड इवनिंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर रविकांत पाठक एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर वीडियो लेक्चर क्लास इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव टाक अबाउट द मार्फोलॉजी ऑफ कॉकरोच एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टाक अबाउट द एनाटॉमी ऑफ कॉकरोच एंड द लास्ट फोर टू फाइव डेज आई डिडेंट अपलोड एनी वीडियो ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल इशूज and uh, so sorry for this i will try to uh, it will not happen further okay so uh, let's come and see here this topic so uh, first of all it have given the anatomy so anatomy we will we will know very uh, we generally know very well about the anatomy that is the internal structure of the individual so maybe plants or animal so in the anatomy we will talk about the different types of the system like reproductive system digestive system circulatory system and uh, reproductive system so first of all we are going to talk about the digestive system so here you will see so they have given the elementary canal and elementary canal of cockroach they are divided into three different region first is the foregut second is the midgut and last one is the hind gut so three different region they are elementary canal cockroach elementary canal divided into three different region foregut midgut and hind gut if you see there also fagus in case of the mammalian this is also known as the food pipe here also fagus trans opens into the sac like structure and this sac like structure here you can see this is the figure with the help of figure you can understand easily so this is the sac like structure and this sac like structure is known as the crop and the function of crop to storage of the food so the function of crop to storage of the food after that means followed the crop they are also provided with the inner uh, they are also provided with the one special structure which is known as the gizzard and this gizzard also known as the proventriculus and it involves in the grinding of the food particles why because they have provided with the outer layer of thick circular muscles and inner layer of the cuticle muscles inner layer uh, sorry inner cuticle forming six highly chitinous plate inner inner layer forming six highly chitinous plate and this is known as the teeth and they have the teeth like structure which involves in the uh, grinding of the food particles you also know very well in case of the birds they also have the crop and gizzard and i had already told in case of the birds during the feeding phenomenon sometimes they can feed the small peppers so they uh, with the seed small peppers they can also feed so these small peppers digested with the uh, gizzard gizzard like structure which is found in case of the birds or apes next a ring of 6 to 8 you will see so what it uh, explaining uh, in the figure so it have the 6 to 8 a ring of 6 to 8 blind tubules this is known as the hepatic cecae or enteric cecae and it is present at the junction of foregut and midgut it is the presence of uh, junction of foregut and uh, midgut and what is the function of hepatic cecae involves in the secretion of gastric juice or digestive juice it is involves in the secretion of gastric juice or digestive juice if you see the figure so here crop then gizzard then enteric cecae or hepatic cecae then they are also provided the small pegin tubules which involves in the excretory phenomenon and one is the important characteristic feature of the cockroach their excretory system associated with the digestive system so this is the characteristic feature of the cockroach and if you see so hind gut hind gut is broader than mid gut and hind gut have the three different region ileum colon and rectum so these things if you will read one by one so it have also given in your a uh, sentence it will read one by one so we can easily understand at the junction of mid gut and hind gut is present another ring of 100 to 150 100 to 150 colored thin filamentous malpighian tubules and malpighian tubules helps in the removal of the excretory product from hemolym hemolym means blood so from the blood it involves in the removal of excretory product and the hind gut is broader than mid gut differentiated into ileum colon and rectum i had already told this explanation next what we will see next is the next type of the system you can say circulatory system and you know very well every arthropods every arthropods they have the open circulatory system 
in case of the non cordates everyone have the open circulatory system except two first one is the adelaide and another is the cephalopod class phylomollusca so phylomollusca class cephalopoda so these two have the closed circulatory system and all non cordates they have the open type of the circulatory system what means of the opens opens means you can say their uh, cells are tissue directly bathed into the blood so their cells are tissue they are directly bathed into the blood blood you can say here hemolym and uh, where is part it forms a chamber you will see so here they have been the open into a space that means you can say chamber this is known as the hemocyl so hemocyl is the chamber where blood flow and hemolym flow and every organ or tissue of the cockroach or arthropods they are directly bathed into the hemolym hemolym composed of the colorless plasma hemocytes they are made up of colorless plasma which is known as the hemocyte and heart of the cockroach is only one but have how many how many chamber it have the 13 chamber so 13 chamber of the cockroach heart form and where it found it found mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen region so it is found in the mid line uh, mid dorsal line of the thorax and abdomen we know very well about the cockroach body so it is differentiated into in the morphology we already studied it is differentiated into three different region head thorax as well as abdomen okay next we will see so here uh, the development the development of cockroach is considered as a paurometabolus what means of the paurometabolus means they have the nymphal stage during the developmental they have the nymphal stage and these nymphal stage they looks very much like adults but when it will uh, converted into the adult so how many time molting takes place 13 time molting takes place when these nymph stage converted into the adult form okay so now last one you can see they have given the figure of uh, that means heart heart figure of the cockroach and in this figure you can easily understand so cockroach heart is the single but have how many chamber it have the 13 chamber okay and these chamber are also provided with the alary muscles so these chamber are generally provided with the alary muscles next one is the respiratory system of the cockroach and you know very well so respiratory system of the cockroach they are provided with the trachea and this trachea have the small pores outside the body they have the small 10 pairs pore this holes is known as the sparacles by which air enters inside the trachea and where it located it located towards the lateral side of the cockroach which is also known as pleuroid dorsal tergite ventral sphenoid ventral dorsal uh, dorsal tergite ventral ventral sternoid and uh, dorso ventrally you can say pleuroid so here laterally or dorso dorso ventrally that is structure is known as the pleuroid thin branching tubes that is tracheal tubules tubules okay tracheal tubes are tubules subdivided into tracheoles we will see so this trachea this trachea divided into the tracheoles here number of tracheoles found okay and carry oxygen from the air and all the parts it means through the spherical sit enters and through the body parts every body parts reach the opening of spherical is regulated by the sphincter the sphincter means this is made up of the smooth muscle cells and it is involves in the regulation so they have given that spherical's opening is regulated by the sphincter the sphincter is made up of the smooth muscle cells and after when this chapter will finish so i will starts the digestion and absorption chapter in that chapter we will see the different types of the sphincter like gastroesophageal sphincter pyloric sphincter and sphincter of podi which found a different different function and it is located in the digestive system of the human okay we will talk about this later but you should to know a sphincter it involves in the regulation phenomenon that is the opening okay opening generally regulated by the sphincter exchange of gaseous takes place by the tracheoles so tracheoles involves in the gaseous exchange takes place and phenomenon which is known as the diffusion and diffusion is a type of passive transport the movement of molecule from its higher concentration to its lower concentration without semi permeable membrane is known as the diffusion next if you see so excretion i had already told one important thing the characteristic feature of the cockroach 
so their excretory system are associated with the digestive system so their excretory system associated with the digestive system so due to this here excretion system generally have the malpighian tubules they are provided with the malpighian tubules and each tubules is the lined by glandular and ciliated cells they are lined by the glandular and ciliated cell and uh, it involves in the removal of the nitrogenous waste products and what is the waste products this is known as the uric acid and one time they already asked in the neat examination so the excretory product of the cockroach is considered as a potassium urate this is the excretory product of the cockroach and which is considered as on the basis of uric acid they are considered as a uricotelic you know very well uricotelic ureotelic ammonotelic and guanotelic and if you we'll check the solubility so maximum solubility ammonia then urea then uric acid and last one is the guanine and you all know one interesting story about the spider a spider never drink the water why because they release their excretory product in the form of pellets in the form of paste okay so due to this they drink very less water so they drink uh, they uh, they no not drink or sometimes drinks very least quantity very least quantity of the water okay next nervous system next one is the nervous system of the cockroach if you will see so they have the series of fused segmentally arranged ganglia they have the series of fused segmentally arranged ganglia and where it uh, it is found towards the ventral side ventral side means sternoid of the body region so body region of the sternoid three ganglia lie in the thorax we know very well thorax abdomen and head so head thorax abdomen three distinct region found in the body of cockroach so three ganglia lie in the thorax and six found in the abdomen so three ganglia were found it is found in the thorax region and six ganglia six ganglia found in the abdomen region the nervous system of cockroach is spread throughout through the body and if you if you in your neat examination so they will ask such type of the question which is considered as the oldest type of the nervous system so oldest type of the nervous system found in the cylindrata in case of the hydra hydra have the nerve net fiber where they indicates and uh, where generally indicating the formation of neurons or nervous system takes place so it means you can say hydra have the very ancient or oldest type of the nervous system so now you understood that is if the head of cockroach this is the characteristic feature of the cockroach head of cockroach is cut off it will still lie for as long one week okay if you cut the head of cockroach so it can lie for the one week okay in the head region in the head region the brain is represented by supra oesophageal ganglia means in the head region they are provided with the supra oesophageal ganglia and the function of supply to an antigen and a compound i and these glands that means uh, this ganglia supply the nerves means they generally provide the nerves to the antigen antigen also you know very well sensory receptor and uh, compound i so compound i these are provided with the supra oesophageal oesophageal ganglia so this is the nerve system of the cockroach next is the we will see about the compound i this is also characteristic feature of the cockroach okay and this compound i if you will see the unit of compound i considered as a omentidia okay it is situated at the dorsal surface dorsal surface means sternoid region of the head near to the head and each i consist of about about 2000 2000 hexagonal omentidia that is known as the unit of compound i so in here you can say this have the cone shape you will see so there is the cone set like full feet so full feet same structure you will see so there cone set structure formed and this is the characteristics of the compound i here you can say this is the cornea and here lens then crystalline cone receptor cell rhabdome and omentidia so this different structure which is found in the case of compound i and what is the feature of this compound i we have also little bit talked about the morphology and now i am also going to talk here because they have given so then we will talk okay so with the help of several omentidia a cockroach can receive several images of an object okay so and uh, one interesting story about that uh, this compound i it forms the mosaic vision what means of the mosaic vision 
less resolution and more sensitivity less resolution and more sensitivity this is called the mosaic vision and being common during the night because you know cockroach is the night worker these are the rover means that is night worker here cockroach are dioecious if you see the reproductive system so we had already told in case of the cockroach these are considered as a dioecious dioecious means sexes separated so they are sexes separated okay and how you will distinguish i had already told in case of the males they have the one is interesting structure which is known as the anal style male has the anal style and it is not found in case of the female male reproductive system will see the structure of the male reproductive system so consist of a pair of testing on one lying on each lateral side fourth sixth abdominal segment you know very well abdominal segments they are have the three different ten they have the ten different segments so near to fourth and sixth abdominal segment near to fourth and sixth abdominal segments they are provided with a pair of testes which is which is lying at the lateral side a characteristics of the mushroom shaped gland this is also known considered as a accessory reproductive gland mushroom shaped gland considered as a accessory reproductive gland it is located into the sixth and seventh abdominal segment it is located into sixth and seventh abdominal segment the external genitalia are represented by the male gonapophysis or philomer external genitalia in case of the males that is known as the gonapophysis or philomer and this is the made up of the chitinous this is made up of the chitinous asymmetrical structures surrounding the male gonopore so it is made up of the chitinous asymmetrical structure which surrounding the gonopore and um, external genitalia which is considered as a gonapophysis or philomer so here you will see their structure phyllic gland small tubules long tubules seminal vesicle vasa differentia ejaculatory duct right philomer ventral philomer anal cerci caudal style okay pseudo penis and tilter and here left philomer so they have the number of uh, structure in case of the male reproductive system but you should to uh, learn these points these points are important uh, in the neat aspects okay so you should learn these points don't waste your energy in the another uh, things okay so you should to learn only the points uh, you already studied some story like this you should eat that food so which you, which you can digest easily which can provide the energy so don't waste your time try to hit the target okay so don't waste your time and uh, uh, you know very well so now your neat date also announced on 26 july it will held in 26 july so you should focus on your exam and i am expecting everyone you will do very good in your neat exams everyone will qualify and uh, i don't know but uh, i am expecting with you so everyone should uh, try to qualify it okay next is the female reproductive system we'll see the female reproductive system consists of the two large ovaries it is only have the two large ovaries lying laterally in the second and sixth where it found it is found in the second and sixth abdominal segment and their fertilized eggs are encased in the capsules called uthiki we already told in the morphology they are also provided with the one structure which is known as the collateral gland and these collateral glands involves in the secretion of some substances which provide the rigidity to uthiki okay and they are dropped so these are dropped are glued to a suitable surface this uthiki are dropped into the suitable surface usually in a crack or crevices crevices means that you can say crevices trench like trench not trench is the big but crevices is means you can say that is the uh, crack okay so they have been also crack so crack high relative humidity high relative humidity near food rich near a food source okay so near a food source they have the high humidity by which this uthiki can intake the food properly okay if you will see here female reproductive system this, this is the ovary and here ovarioles and their filaments here germ, uh, germanium and vitellarium egg chamber pedicle oviduct common oviduct spermithiki right collateral gland sir, uh, and here they have given the genital chamber ov posterior processes and here uthical chamber and left collateral gland so it have given the large number of the name so you uh, you uh, you don't learn this so just i am telling but you don't learn because they will not ask and which i have told to you so that is the very important 
try to learn this okay and now your class is going to finish and uh, i am expecting with you so everyone so uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like and uh, hit the bell icon for regular updates so thank you again okay